Welcome to this online taster event in psychology. I'm Dr. Jilly Forrester, the Director of Undergraduate Studies, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the university, the department, and the different undergraduate psychology degrees that we offer. Now, if you didn't know already, Birkbeck is the only provider of evening bachelor's courses in London. We have over 13,500 students across five schools, and students tend to really enjoy their experience at Birkbeck. In fact, in the 2019 survey, students rated us second in London and seventh across the United Kingdom. Now, psychology is an incredibly broad topic, but in our Department of Psychological Sciences, we focus on how people think, feel, and act. And we cover a broad range of psychological areas, from historical concepts to modern psychological approaches. We're home to a variety of centers for excellence in research, from our well-known baby lab to our shared imaging unit with UCL. Additionally, we have many smaller laboratories based right here in the department that cover psychology approaches from genetics to behavior. If you come to Birkbeck, you'll be entering a vibrant center of academic excellence. Every around six years, the government does a survey of academic output to test the impact on the research that each university produces. Birkbeck fares very well in these surveys, and we tend to be rated very highly. For example, we've come fifth and third in the most recent surveys in 2008 and 2014, and this is across the entire country. The reason why I'm telling you this is because those individuals who are doing those research projects are the same individuals that teach you on your courses. And so that information, fresh out of the lab, trickles down the curriculum to you. So now I'm gonna tell you about the structure of the bachelor's degrees and our entry requirements. The entry requirements onto the Bachelor's of Science of Psychology is your traditional three A-levels at BBB or 120 UCAS points. Now we also accept equivalent degrees, so it might be access courses, BTECs, um, you might be coming off a foundation year, or you might have an international baccalaureate or an equivalent international degree. All of these are fine. Now, we also tend to look for one science subject, but psychology and maths also count as science subjects, and we will check your GCSEs for um, a C or better. Now, if you don't quite make these marks, it doesn't necessarily mean that you won't gain a place, but there are also different entry points for individuals who don't meet these requirements but still want to study at the bachelor's level. For example, if you study part-time on the Bachelor's of Science, we don't require any traditional qualifications. This is the same degree, but spread over four years rather than three, so it's less intensive, and we drop the entry requirements. There are also additional access points into the Bachelor's degree, um, which I will go on and discuss in a few minutes. So as I mentioned just a moment ago, you can take the bachelor's degree three years full-time or four years part-time. We have three academic terms. Our first term is the autumn term, and it typically runs from the beginning of October to the middle of December. And that encompasses 10 teaching weeks with a reading week in the middle, so 11 weeks for that term. The second term starts in the middle of January. This is our spring term and runs until the end of March. Again, we have 10 teaching weeks with a reading week in the middle. Our summer term is an examination period. Most students take April for exam revision and prep and sit their exams in May, and that completes the academic year. But please remember that all of our face-to-face -face lectures are from 6 till 9 in the evening. And that's true of all bachelor's courses at Birkbeck. So what will you study if you enroll upon a bachelor's of science degree in psychology? Well, it's important that I point out that our degree is accredited by the British Psychological Society. And that means that we are bound by the society to cover a broad range of core psychological areas. And that's what you'll be studying in your first and second years. 
So in your first year, you'll be covering biological psychology, which is our neuroscience, social psychology, developmental psychology, cognitive psychology. You'll also be covering research methods and individual differences. And then you'll see these same modules come up again in your second year, but we'll be covering them in more breadth and depth. And this is required for us to obtain accreditation. But for your course to have valid accreditation, it means that you must achieve a 2-2 or better on your degree. And this allows you to take the first step towards chartership if you'd like to become a professional psychologist. And additionally, you would then go on to achieve the required postgraduate qualification in your chosen psychological area. Now, this is only important for students who think they might want to become a professional psychologist, and I'll talk more about this in the careers talk. So you can find a link to that video back on the Taster Day homepage. Now, in your final year, there's a huge amount of choice. In fact, you can build your final year as you choose. We've got a large range of option modules, and these reflect the different speci specializations of our staff members. So you can taste test across these different areas, or you can go into a specialization. And we have three different specialized pathways for individuals who would like to take this option. Now, there is no significant difference in the value of the degrees, whether or not you take a specialization or not. They're equally valuable, and they're all accredited by the British Psychological Society. However, if you have a strong passion to go in a particular direction and you know you're going to want to go on to postgraduate qualification in a specific area, then a specialization might be right for you. So the specializations that we offer are psychology in practice, psychology with neuroscience, and psychology with child development. And if you choose to do one of these specialized pathways, then you must take one compulsory module and then you can choose five more option modules within that pool for that specialization. So a slightly more restricted group of modules that you can choose from there within that specialization. And additionally, when you come to do your dissertation, which forms a component of your final year of study in all accredited programs, you'll need to do your dissertation within your specialization. And that is an independent piece of research that you will carry out paired with a supervisor um, from the department. All students will do a dissertation in their final year. Um, but those who chose a pathway must do it in their special, specialized area. Right, so you might be wondering what your week might look like if you're a student studying on our bachelor's degrees in psychology. Um, and this is just an indication of what a week might look like. We've got your full-time students on the top here and your part-time students on the bottom here. Our full-time students come four nights a week. Uh, so, for example, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and our part-time students come three nights a week. So, for example, here they're coming Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Now, you'll note that the classes that students take have the same module names. That's because they are the same modules, and part-time and full-time students take all their classes together. So, there's no division of these two cohorts, aside from the fact that part-time students spread their classes across four years instead of coming four nights a week and finishing in three years. And at the end, all the degrees are equally valuable and BPS accredited. So maybe you don't quite meet the tariff to gain entry into one of our bachelor's degrees. In this case, you might want to think about our foundation year. Our foundation year will allow you to slide directly into the bachelor's degree. Additionally, if you make sufficient progress in the first year of that foundation year, you can actually skip over the first year of the bachelor's degree 
into the second year and still complete a fully accredited bachelor's degree in three years. So this is the accelerated foundation year. You apply exactly the same way as you apply into any foundation year. You go through UCAS, but if you make sufficient progress in the first year, you can skip the first year of the bachelor's degree and finish in three years. So maybe you're somebody who's already studied at the undergraduate level and would now like to study psychology. Well, we actually offer the opportunity to convert your undergraduate degree into a British Psychological Society accredited master's. And this can be done via our master's conversion course. It's one year full-time or two years part-time. And you can check out the video back on the homepage of this Taster event. Go to the MSc conversion course. Another way to gain entry onto our bachelor's degree, if you don't quite meet the tariff to go directly into the bachelor's, are our certificates of higher education modules. Now, these are open access, so anybody, regardless of qualifications, can enroll onto these modules and taste test the different areas of psychology. But if you take a particular package, then you can build up the qualification to enroll into a bachelor's program. And more information can be found about the Certificate of Higher Education program on our website. But please note, these modules run three times a year and are open access. So what can you expect if you come to study an undergraduate degree in psychology with us? Well, you can expect to be challenged. You're going to hear the words research and evidence an awful lot. You're going to do a lot of reading, but we really hope that you're also going to really enjoy your degree and become passionate about psychology. Our job as educators will be to equip you with the ability to critically assess psychological research and theory. We want you to be able to pick up a journal article or a newspaper article about a scientific report and be able to understand both the strengths and the weaknesses of the piece of work. We aim to support our students in the best way that we can, and this is for students straight out of A-levels, to students who have taken a long break between studying, or even students who have never studied at the bachelor's level before. The university offers a wide range of resources and support, from writing to maths, careers advice, and so forth. But what's unique about our department is that we actually offer our own learning support team that's housed right in our department, and they're very well skilled at offering support for learning the core psychological study skills. I hope the information that I've offered in this video has been useful to you. Here are some contact details from our course leaders. If you're interested in our bachelor's degree, it's me that you want to speak to. Don't hesitate to contact me directly. If you want more information about our master's conversion courses, that's my colleague Eddie Davilar, and his information is here as well. If you want more information or on our certificate of higher education and our foundation years, please follow the contact details you see here. Hope you check out the rest of the videos in this Taster event, and we hope we see you in October.